Well, hello to all of you shooters and reloaders out there and to all of you three circles passengers and members. It's Fortune Cookie 45LC coming to you from the hot lead zone express. And yes, the winds have died down and the fires are being put under control and we have power here in California. So we're enjoying a great day at the range and we're going to shoot our 357 maximum. And these are loaded with 20.1 of H110 powder and uh, small rifle primers and also the lead 200 grain round nose flat point bullet give you the velocity and standard deviation with our chronograph. Here are those loads with uh, Remington Peters brass. These are traditionally lubed bullets with gas check. And you see here's our gun is the Thompson Center Encore with the custom Bullberry barrel in 357 maximum caliber. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but Fred over at Bullberry is retiring. So Bullberry is taking its final orders uh, for the company, and we don't know what's going to happen whether some of the employees there are going to take over or not. So, Bullberry may be out of commission because of retirement of the owner. Okay, that's what it looks like with the rifle, the chronograph, and the target at 50 yards. Okay, we've got a good side picture. Pretty heavy trigger pull though. That was 1,951 feet per second. Brass looks okay, it's a little on the warm side, but it's okay. Recoil is not bad in a rifle. Wow, that one hit dead center. This is a, with a scope change and just pop it on there. Okay, that was a good release. Aha! Now we got stiff opening of the gun here. The load might be a little bit on the hot side. That didn't want to open. Uh, no, I'm to tell you. <laughs> 1,994 feet per second. Why? Where did you sit? Uh, looks like about an inch and a half group. Yeah. That's not too good. We shot a lot better with the 180 grain spear hot core jacket bullet. That shot very small groups at 50 yards. Our cast isn't doing that well. That one hit right with the first one, but unfortunately uh, shot two and three weren't that accurate. Well, that's inch and a half because it's a three inch circle and we're, we're halfway from the, the left edge to the center, so it's about an inch and a half group. Here's shot number five. I still have our uh, scrap between you and your sister. Yeah, it's a round inch and a half group, so I mean, that's not bad. That'll do for hunting at uh, out to 75 yards easy. And let's see what the, the stats on that. 1,970 feet per second average. 
standard deviation of 15. So it could be better. Let's shoot another five shot group. It may be that the barrel just needs conditioning for the cast bullet. Okay. 1987 feet per second. Nineteen eighty-seven. Okay, this is a good hold on this here. It might be getting a little dark because that one didn't register on my phone. Wow, same hole. Nineteen eighty-one. Uh oh, it's not registering on my phone. That's a no-no. 19... Okay, 1987 and 1981. But they didn't register. That's right there. It's about a half inch group. Well, it may be getting too dark for the crown graph to register because that time it didn't register at all. Yep, that's the problem. Well, we have velocity from the other two. Yeah, it's definitely not registering. That's a problem when it gets darker, darker earlier now. Daylight savings time has taken hold now. It gets dark earlier. Okay, one more shot. Drat. We're getting crowded here. And it doesn't want to get neutral. I don't want to spoil this group. Okay. Yep, that's right there, about a half inch group. Well, it shoots pretty accurately after all. It just took a little time to condition the barrel. We don't have, to have a load that we have to baby and condition like this. So, I'm thinking that the uh, best bullet and load for the 357 maximum is that spear jacketed hot core 180 grain soft point because that one shoots lights out. So we did our due diligence in trying the cast bullet loads but more work was needed there.